So what do you think I should do with this cursed idol? I think you should find a way to go back in time so you never touch the fucking thing. Hmm. I'm guessing that regular fire probably wouldn't burn it. Am I... You think I'm probably right I would that? suggest hurling it into the sun if we had the option. How about a magical fire with lots of magical zombie parts on it? I mean, I don't know if the fire itself is magical, but I mean, that's the closest thing we got. Think that would do it? That's the closest thing we got, yeah. Also, there's, there's a bee thing up there. I told you not to get the cursed idol, but you went and did it anyway. Alright, you know, that one is not entirely my fault. I'm pretty sure it was messing with my mind there. Alright, fine, I'll give you that one. It was really subtle, too. It was like, and we were like, saying, oh, this thing might mess with my mind. I'm not gonna listen to it. I'm not gonna listen to it. That's why I'm going to pick it up. Wait, what? So basically, you're Homer Simpson, uh, convincing himself it's okay to drive drunk. We see the cult as zombies. These are the cadavers of those who in life serve certain strange priesthoods, delved the mysteries of potent cults, or otherwise devoted themselves to occult study. Some spark of awareness stays within them, and in death, they can still call on the ritual powers. Is it just me or is that one weirdly coherent? I'm just wondering why it dropped, like, a dossier on itself. Well, no, it's the bees that are telling you that, I'm But, I mean, sure. were the bees in the zombie? I, I don't know. The bees work in mysterious ways. Uh, don't get religious on me. Perhaps a boat rotated caught in the beginnings of a maelstrom. Perhaps the man looked upon the rotting hulks and saw the glistening movement of lean, slimy bodies writhing in seaweed, like undead otters cracking open skulls for their fruit. Perhaps the fog and the dark conspired to play tricks. I wouldn't really say it's religion, it's more like, um... It's kind of religion. But, well, like, would you say it's religion if the gods were literally walking among us? I mean, it depends on how needy they are. That's interesting. It's over here. Oh, oh, shit! I warned you about the ravens! What the hell? Did that thing just vomit ravens? I had a nightmare about that once. Like, literally, that Oh, well, we might have it on file. It's revenant. If only the bees could be forthcoming about that thing. Well now, I'm not much fit for entertaining, but I reckon you ain't much in the mood for hospitality either, am I right? Oh, I'm not a big talker, eh? I'm used to that from a surly husband and kids more comfortable with kicking a ball around and having a conversation with their ma. Name's Nama, Nama Creed. Raised a family up here before this dungeon thick fog came took him as my story. Helen sent you over to check on me, I reckon. Now, your concern is wicked kind, but I don't need any pitying. I got my shotgun, I got what's left of my wits. I'll manage. Now, this hullabaloo began after the Lady Margaret came back. My husband Larry, the others, we all thought that they'd gone missing out there. But the sea took them. The day they came back, whole town could finally breathe again. But then came that fog. Like it was following them back to shore. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got that from. Probably heard it on Oprah. 
Never got to ask Larry about what happened in those weeks they were gone. Been around gift horses long enough not to look him in the mouth. He was back. Thought life would go on the way life goes on, one day at a time. When the fog lifts enough to see the Lady Margaret laid up in the harbor, covered in that red seaweed, I always wonder if he'd still be here if I had. What is she talking about? Not a big talker. I'm uh, not much of a... It's kind of different when it's psychic. You're, you're kind of intruding on my internal monologue. Yeah, sorry. He's, um, Illuminati, not, not too much on personal space. I get that. If, if it helps any, like, I can't hear anything that, like, you don't directly send my way. Well, I kind of... Then, hold on a second, let me, um... Let me try something. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, I, I heard all of that. God damn it. I just... Psychic broadcasting on all frequencies. Well, I mean, y y you haven't broadcast any, like... I don't know, embarrassing secrets or weird fetishes or anything like that yet. That's good. Uh, let's see what KG has to say. I am so not in the mood to deal with Acadian hell gods right now. Me neither. The New England coast is filled with caches from the Prohibition area. After Prohibition, we started using them to stockpile certain kinds of artifacts. The kinds we weren't able to make unaffected of manual for. Others, like the idol of Nurgle, are just destined to be destroyed. Chow chow. Why couldn't you do this earlier? Seriously. Save me a bunch of trouble. I mean, we've got centuries of bureaucracy to get through. I mean, KG is fairly new as far as, you know, secret societies are concerned. Yeah, I imagine, you know, considering... She won't claim a day over 30. Don't even mention the, the number 30 around her. 29, 29. There we go. 29 count. Don't, don't push your luck. I... Oh, look. Whoa, dead hippies. Oh, they're not holding Aww. hands. What are they doing here? These flares? How clearly they had a mission. I think it's... B wants it done, so you do. So you do. We are the morning light. Oh, crap. Uh -huh. We don't ask stupid questions if we obey our leaders. Hmm. Oh, God. The morning light's here, too. happens if... Well, let's see what happens if I do this. I mean, you sure you want to be out here? I mean, these things killed you. Yeah. yeah, but I'm feeling a little bit more up for the task. Uh oh. Just, uh... Shit. Oh, you just... Oh, you just aborted that one. Oh, did I? Oh, wow, I did. Well, it's good to know we can we can take them out before they're born. But also, ew. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh oh. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should go back to the station. First. Yeah. Oh, these... these are not friendly. Are they speaking Iceland? Uh, holy crap, how did I win that? Eh, guess you have gotten better. Holy crap. 
I destroyed them. Yeah, it's just the power of, of revenge right there. Yeah. Also, I mean, you did take out that big crap fucker with chest china. So, I mean, that's probably tougher than these dudes. That's nice. Nice little fireworks show. What are these things? They look like Fat Man with Coral. Well, they don't look that fat. Well, I mean, they're kind of, kind of like, okay, not fat, fat. They, they kind of got some blubber on them, maybe. Yeah. Like uh, you don't see undead with fat. Yeah, except like the, the bloaters from you know, that for dead. Oh yeah. I know they are the worst. Maybe I should go back and talk to the Actually, let me check something. over there. Twelve fire. Hmm. Let me see if Ziggy knows anything about that. And by and by, the Illuminati were free to conduct their real investigation. They blamed the Templars, that old comfortable dance. But the children of I and Pyramid worship at the altar of practicality more than they bow to the shrine of grudges. Investigation, both mundane and magical, Revealed no evidence to damn their ancient enemy. Oh, I wonder what that was all about. I don't know what I mean. Interfaction mudslinging, not exactly the biggest surprise in the world. Oh, look at that thing. What? Yeah, what is that thing? That's like a mountain on its back? Oh god, it's, 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 it's pregnant with one of these things. No, no, no. These things cannot be fighting. It's got morning sickness. Uh, uh. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 God, don't take your eyes off the sea. Did I anger it? You're sending off fireworks while it's trying to sleep. Well, okay. I guess that was what B wanted them to do. Different bee. No wonder these hippies died. Okay, let's get to this Mary Margaret. Let's see what's going on with that ship. Now let's run right into the epicenter of all this. Oh, somebody's got to do it. And there ain't nobody else here. These bees are leading you into some dangerous places. The fog parted as a freak show curtain revealing a graveyard of ships 
Rusty steel, ancient wood dows, Viking longboats, modern frigates, oil tankers, and luxury cruise liners. They all dipped and bobbed in the same water. Vessels from all times, all cultures, all covered in red. Oh shit! That one looks a little... Worse for wear? Yeah! Was that one female? I... I think so. She sounded female. Does it even matter at that point? I mean, there's definitely some... Dimorphism going on, but they also kind of have like a starfish thing. Lucky to be riding this. Can't believe what happened. Shouldn't believe it. That's what Doc Bannerman would say. Shrink's going to be earning his pay when we get home. If we get home. Larry and his boy Derek are clammed up. Joe's real fevered, and this thing, still shining like a flashlight. I look over my shoulder. I swear I still see that fog. Yeah. Yeah, some more bolts for Andy. Yep, there's another one right here. These are talkative tonight. They sure are. Our wisdom flows so sweet, taste and see. Transmit. Initiate New England signal. Receive. Initiate the call of woof frequency. The weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. Initiate Echidnoderm Syntax. Witness, Lady Margaret. It's an Echidnoderm. I like uh, That's like a starfish. Oh. We see the sea witches. These transformed shaman have uniquely retained some sense of individuality, if not their past lives. They are forever locked in their trance state. Where once they heard the will of the spirits, now they only hear the whispers of the dreaming ones. They wail songs of madness. We see the sea callers. The fog, the airborne filth, responds to their voice and the water churns to their will. We see the brood witches, slimy tentacles reach out from their chests, impregnating the walking corpses with eldritch seed. Oh my god, did that- Well! That said airborne filth. That's said airborne filth. Oh. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. I think it might be too late to save this town. No, it's not too late. It can't be. Nah, it just can't be. It can't be too. Uh, it just can't be. J j mostly of that. Just yeah. Can't be. I think it's a good attitude. <laughs> Oh, hi, Andy. She gave him my text number. Oh, I think someone's shipping you. No, 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 no. I'm not his type. Wait, really? No, no, he's, he's more into the large and bearded. How, how can you tell? I can just tell. What kind of vibe do you get from me? It sure is good to see someone living. Large and bearded. I mean, not inaccurate. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say complete, <laughs> but not inaccurate. Should sure chokes me up seeing Main Street all done up in buntings and so empty. The kids love that Halloween parade, you know. And they'd all bust on up, bang away for the haunted hay rides. Ever since our local amusement park closed down, they were troubles. It was before my time. A little sketch there, Andy. Seems a little spooked. I mean, but who could blame? Him, you know? Still, what town doesn't have a little trouble with cultists? There was that repeat killer. Um, I, I wouldn't say serial killer. Um. But he came from the mainland. And that mess with the um. college kids at the old hunting cabin? Bears, we reckon. Um. 
Jinx. <laughs> Jeez. When it's all laid out like that, it does sound pretty bad, huh? Yeah! This right now is definitely the worst we've ever had, though. This is the real storm of the century. If we push on through it, I am not looking forward to taking a shovel to the streets after. Andy, are you just realizing how bad things get here? Is this news to you? I mean, Andy, you know, he's a sweet kid, but boy, he sure is single minded. That's what everybody says about him. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs>